Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ, and let me begin with one of any preacher's favorite phrases. There are plenty of good seats up front. If anyone wants to come and join us in the front of the sanctuary, you all have done a beautiful job managing the Tetris game that is social distancing in this sanctuary. Well done this morning. And from the sanctuary of Second Presbyterian Church in Indianapolis to those gathered in worship around our city and indeed around the globe, welcome. Each week we are gathered by God in worship in this space and across time and space, and I am grateful. This morning I want to say a particular word of gratitude as we complete a unique program year for the gift that our pre-service music has been during this season. We are deeply blessed at Second to have extraordinary musical gifts within our congregation and through our music and fine arts ministry relationships with world-class musicians who have provided such beauty and meaning over these months. Thanks be to God for the gift of this ministry and all those who lead it and make it possible. Friends, the second chapter of the book of Acts begins with these words. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place. The day of Pentecost has come again, and here we are together because the Spirit of God draws us together, united in worship and joined in praise of God. Happy Pentecost, my friends. This afternoon at 3.30, outside the Northside Food Pantry on the north side of the building, all of us are invited to give thanks for the musical gifts of our children with a time of music and mission. We'll share our gratitude for God's generosity by preparing hygiene kits for disaster relief and sharing in a festive hymn sing. You are invited to wear your Pentecost red and join us at 3.30 this afternoon. There are many other opportunities just like this coming throughout the summer to serve and grow, to join in fellowship and worship, and I hope you'll join us for those. Next Sunday, we begin our Worship as One summer. The worship time shifts to 10 a.m. next week through Sunday, August the 1st. You can find information about everything happening at Second on our website, secondchurch.org, and particularly on the events tab. Finally, on this day when we celebrate the gifts of the Spirit, it is a joy for me to share with you that Second Presbyterian Church will welcome a deeply gifted new director of stewardship and endowment to our team next week, and that person is Nancy Frick. Nancy brings with her extensive experience in nonprofit management and fundraising, including nearly 14 years with the St. Vincent Foundation as their Director of Foundation Advancement and Vice President for Development. Nancy holds the Master of Divinity degree from Christian Theological Seminary and is a commissioned ruling elder in the Presbyterian Church USA. The intersection of pastoral ministry and financial generosity is Nancy's vocational home, and Second Presbyterian Church is her church home, the congregation where she and her husband Charlie have belonged for more than 40 years. Nancy has been a part of our stewardship efforts in the past, has served as a deacon and an elder, a leader in our presbytery, the great banquet, and family promise. Her gifts are diverse, and her call is clear. And Nancy, I am so grateful that you have answered God's call to serve as our next director of stewardship and endowment. I've invited Nancy up here today so you can put a face with a name and so that we can welcome her into this role with celebration. Nancy, I am thrilled to welcome you on behalf of the Second Congregation to this new position and grateful for the persistent and patient call of God that has led you to this time and place. Thank you, Nancy. Let us welcome her. People of God, the Spirit moves where God intends, 
Let us follow the Spirit's call in this hour of worship.